For this brooder, I wanted to accomplish two things. One, that it needed to hold at least 30 chickens, 30 baby chickens up to four weeks old. And then it needed to be weatherproof because we we're gonna keep it outside, out in the elements, and it needed to be safe. The chickens need to be safe from the, the weather, the rain. It also needed to hold a heat lamp, a water, a feeder for these chickens. So let's get started. I'm excited to show you this build. To start, I ripped down in half all the 2x4s. And this makes the structure more lighter and it helps with the expense of all the wood that we'll be using. After all the 2x4s were ripped down the middle, I started building all four sides of the walls and then also the base of the brooder. And the walls are being framed kind of like how you would do a shed where I'm framing all the walls first and then adding uh, the outside plywood. And then when putting the frame together, I make sure I'm putting in two screws plus glue to connect all the pieces. For the exterior skin of the walls, I'm using a quarter inch plywood. And then here I'm ripping it down with my track saw. And then I'm gluing on the outside of the frame I just built and then putting the quarter inch plywood on top and then tacking it in with my narrow crown stapler. Now when making these type of structures, I like to do things a little bit differently, such as I love doing maybe a round window like I did on my chicken coop. So I'm gonna do kind of the same thing here and do some oval windows. And because they are roundish windows, I need to make a window casing for them. So I'm using some one by uh, just pine wood and I'm creating a window frame for these round windows and then also using a half inch wire mesh uh, for the actual window screen. And then from the inside of the walls, I'm using a paint can as a template to mark out where my windows are going to be. And then drilling a pilot hole. And then with my jigsaw, I'm just cutting it out. After that, I got my window frame that I just built and then installed it just underneath the framing of the wall with a couple screws. And then it fit nice and snug against the window so that way no predators can come in. And then I turn the wall over and then finish tacking from the outside uh, against the window frame I just made. Next, I built both end walls. Now I built them pretty much the same except one end wall, the back piece, is going to have a space for the pull-out drawer. And then the front of the chicken brooder is going to have a door to come out so that way they can have access to outside if they want. To help me figure that out, I cut out a quarter inch plywood and I use this basically as a template and then after I knew what peak I wanted for the roof, I framed around that template for both sides of the end wall. On both end walls where the peak sits, I cut out a window to give them more access to some airflow and then also use the half inch wire mesh to cover that up. This is the front wall where the door is gonna sit and here I'm just framing that door out. And then no matter what project I'm doing, all the family is involved when we have to actually paint. If you are interested in these plans, these plans will be available in our new Soda Land private community group. When you sign up to our community group, these plans will be in there. It's also a way to connect with other like-minded folks. For the community group, you can sign up monthly or yearly at 20% off. You also have the option of signing up for some online workshops. For the bottom base of this brooder, we put it together pretty much like the walls, same way, except I used treated two by fours because I knew it was gonna be in the bottom and it might be in more of the elements. We also covered it with half inch wire mesh. Now remember, there's gonna be a pull out drawer that sits on top of this. 
so that way you can pull in and out. From here it's putting up all the walls and attaching it to the base just like a giant puzzle. From the inside I'm using screws to attach each wall together, the end pieces to the side walls, and then also attaching the side wall bottom pieces to the base of the frame. The front wall, which is the last wall, I mounted it to the frame first and then I glued and tacked in the outside plywood and then I unscrewed the whole wall so that way it'll be easier for me to cut out the door and also the vent that's on the peak. And then after that, I reattach the wall to the brooder. After all the walls were attached together, then it was time to do the ridge top and the roof. This ridge top is also going to hold the hinges so the roof can flap open. To make the two hinged roof, I'm framing it just like the walls and then attaching it with a couple hinges to the ridge top of the brooder. I use scrap wood to trim out around the door and then also the edges of the chicken brooder so that way no plywood corners were exposed. This is the back door for where the drawer is going to pull out and I trimmed that out as well. Before we finish up this build, I want to talk to you about this week's sponsor, McMurray Hatchery. We've been working with McMurray Hatchery uh, for the last two years. Last year we got all of our new egg layers from them, such as Fuzzy Muggins and also all of our meat chickens last year and we're, we're getting all of our meat chickens from them this year. They don't just sell chickens, they sell all kinds of poultry and also they have a lot of information on how to take care of your chickens on their website. They have feeders, they have waters, they have a bunch of equipment also to take care of your chickens. So guys, go check them out. Good customer service, good people to work with. I'll leave their link down below. For the pullout drawer, I'm using some one by sixes and a half inch plywood for the bottom and basically just building a box. I'm reinforcing the corners with screws and glue and tacking the bottom to the one by sixes. And to make it more sturdy and rigid, I'm attaching some corner angle brackets inside the box so that way it'd be super sturdy. I'm reinforcing a gate handle uh, from the inside of the box and this handle will be used to pull the box in and out of the brooder. Now this is not totally necessary. You could just use scrap wood to trim out the entire brooder, but I chose to use some metal angle aluminum. And I just think it looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot finished. And I'm using roofing screws to attach that to the bottom. Plus I mix it a little bit more durable, I think, when, you, when you're always moving this brooder around. For the back door where the drawer is going to come out of, I'm attaching a couple magnets to the back so that way it will have something to open and hang on to when you open it up and it will grab onto a magnet and stay open when you need it to.
and then put on the front door, put on the necessary barrel locks and hook and eye locks uh, front on the outside. And then I attached white corrugated roofing material for the roof. Now, because of the roof is a hinged roof and both sides open, the peak of the roof needed to be flexible. So I chose to use some rubber mats and this worked pretty well. I just uh, screwed it in with some roofing screws. And so now when you open up the roof, both sides, the mat will bend with it and it will still be watertight. And that's it. After we built it, it was still light enough to move around and this brooder will hold 30 chickens. We could also hang a heat lamp and it will hold their water and feed. You can also attach wheels to this if you wanted to make it more movable or you can put permanent legs on it to make it like a small little chicken coop for your baby chicks. For easy removal of all the bedding, I made a drawer, a slide out drawer that pulls in and out of the bottom. The most challenging part of this build was the different angles and cuts, um, but I was trying to keep it very light and easy to pick up. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.